hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel and today's video is going to be a bridal makeup transformation on this gorgeous gorgeous model of mine that's just tape on a lace if you are wondering her name is oh my god i can't believe i have forgotten her name and this is just me cleansing her skin with some micellar water and wipes i'm going to leave all the products that i used in the description box because i'm not sure i was showing them to you guys in this video so i was preparing her for a photo shoot and this is my model this is my right likes to talk anyway this is me moisturizing her skin like i said earlier on all of the products that i used to be in the description box if this is your first time on my channel make sure to subscribe like my video and leave me a comment so i just make sure to moisturize and hydrate her skin as much as i can and sometimes when I see makeup artists say, oh, you can't, you are not allowed to be on the phone during your appointment. I totally get it, you guys. It just disrupts and bothers us. That's why we say, oh, no phones during your appoint appointment. But then my mother was on the phone and you can see how much discomfort that was causing. Anyway, I applied a foundation on her skin. I think I used the Lancome and the NARS one. I'm going to put the shades in the description box. And as always, if you've seen all my other makeup tutorials, you would notice that I always use a beauty sponge to blend out. I never like use a foundation brush. It has just never been my thing. So I'm going to evenly apply the foundation and press it in. Always use tapping motions, you guys, especially if you want your makeup to last long and last the whole day. Foundation is on now and it's time to highlight. I'm going to be using the concealers from Noban Beauty. This is a Nigerian brand that I've had for a while. I absolutely love their products. Their products are very, very consistent and it takes a while to get tacky. So it gives me enough room to be able to blend. I used the Sephora Collection Foundation to contour because I wanted the contour to be serious. Like I just wanted it to show. Usually I'll just go in with a powder contour. But while I was contouring, contouring, I left my highlight to get tacky so that it would avoid, just so I could avoid creases. And I also went on to use a cream contour. I used the same foundation shade to contour her nose. And yeah, I was just blending out. It just helps to blend out more seamlessly when your concealer already gets tacky before you start to blend. I blend out the forehead at T-zone areas first before I go in to blend out underneath her eye and I blend out the darker concealer first before the lighter concealer. On very many occasions, I still leave the concealer when it's not as tacky as I'd like. Then I go in to powder the old face and mattify and, you know, set the old face with a face powder. For this look, I use the Sephora collection blur smoothener powder or something like that. And this is me just going in. It just so seamlessly. It helps blend in the way that I love. You guys can see. And I know that it feels like I'm forcefully patting the brush, the breezy blender on her skin. But I promise you guys, I was doing it as light-handedly as I could. I don't know why this video is making it look like I was being so forceful. Now that that is done, I went in with my Charlotte Tilbury powder to set underneath her eye. I absolutely love this powder because it gives a very creamy, flawless, it just smoothens out on like, it just smoothens out. It gives a very silky satin like finish. It's hard to describe it. It's just a very, very beautiful powder. Although the price point is kind of, I feel like I can, I liken it to the Milani one, but then this one does it for me every time. And that's why I always use it to set underneath my, underneath the eyes and just basically set even to set the whole face but most of the time i use it to set on any the eyes and all the areas that i highlighted like you guys can see in this video next up is this blurring balm from the nessa myrix absolutely absolutely gorgeous blush to be honest i'm not even going to lie when i tried applying it for a while like the first time i struggled with blending because it was just a lot to blend i feel like apply it first before you apply your powder before you set your face yeah and afterwards i went into bronzer skin a little bit with my morphe bronzer and this is me just blushing her face applying blush on her face 
anyway and i went straight into brows this is not my this is my least favorite process this is my least favorite makeup process because it takes me so much time i'm sorry my hair was in the way but i kind of zoomed in let's zoom, yeah i was zoomed in at this point if you guys want to see a detailed makeup eyebrow tutorial i have one on my channel and if you'd like to see another one i can film another one i know i'm missing out film another one for a while but then this is not me tidying her brow up because i couldn't even be bothered to film the whole process because it was taking so much time i like to take my time to make sure that my brows are on fleek so you guys you guys just get it sometimes they you know i feel like brows have a mind of their own sometimes they want to look nice and sometimes they don't want to but most importantly the trick that has always helped me and i've always lived by is to follow the natural shapes of the brow i have done that times and times again and yeah i've not had so much complaints and this brush i'm using is my holy grail it's my brow like i cannot do without this brush it's, it's a younger beauty brush flat brush something like that and this brush absolutely just helps me it's very precise and yeah just helps me get the detail i want out of my brows so after all of that i went into my setting powder i think i used yeah i used the miracle one to apply i the plan wasn't to bake honestly the plan wasn't to bake the setting powder was just there to catch the eyeshadow fallout when i am applying a eyeshadow a lot of people bake but i don't necessarily i feel like it's too much stress because then i had to blend out and then if you are not careful it's going to cause flashbacks and i went into this decal palette to start my eyeshadow process to transition i always use orange or some dark peach whenever i'm doing whenever i'm working on a brown on a brown or black skin model or bride it just adds that pop of color it kind of complements the blush and brings the whole face together this is just me blending in circular motions all over the skin and i'm going to kind of start with a smoky kind of base just because i realized that every time i do that smoky base my eyeshadow pops small i don't understand the mathematics behind it but it just works for me that way once i got my smoky effect i went in to apply some eye primer i used the benign clam white eye primer i have been using it for a while and i've had just that one and it has refused to finish so i applied the primer just to make sure that my eyeshadow pops as much as it can and i used a silver glitter from ferrarucci i got it as a gift a very long time ago and i just decided to use it afterwards i just kind of blended everything seamlessly into make sure there was no ash lines i blended out and i applied some mascara and my my model was laughing so much like who laughs when you're applying mascara but this was such a fun shoot i enjoyed she's such an amazing person and i applied her forces and for forces i mostly apply with my fingers i know that everybody says I apply with an applicator but they just come very easily to me and i just apply with my fingers all the time nobody should come for me at this point we're pretty much done with the makeup i did a lips off camera because i was pressed for time and she was already tearing up i also lined her eyes off camera and the hair stylist already kind of removed the tape in front of her of her of her lace just so that i could um blend everything out nicely not that you move the tape and then you see some some discoloration anyway i brushed off all the excess powder from my face and i set the whole face this is usually my favorite part because this is the part that tells me okay i am done my model was jumping everywhere you guys i was just trying to make sure everywhere was seamless the face was popping everywhere was looking good and i love these lips at first i wanted to do the regular nude lip but yeah this just worked for me because she liked it as well and i wanted it was nice from something for a change because i'm always doing the brown nude lip and yeah guys this is the finished look afterwards we changed into the dress that she wore and we took beautiful pictures i'm going to attach some pictures and yeah i'm not going to forget i applied some highlight onto the eye points of her cheeks and yeah i'm just going to close this video here if this is your first time on this channel please subscribe kindly subscribe encourage and support me let me know if you want me to create some other looks and i'll make sure to film them thank you for watching guys bye from my very very goofy 
มือเดียวฮันไอ